everybody. Ready.
Ready? What? 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 Yes? Uh-huh. Yes? Ready.
Yes? Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. Me.
I don't remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy. If that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, Karth. Can I, can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. But I shouldn't take it out on you. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Karth. Well, it's no big deal. I, mean, I know how it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth, for an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. Huh? What? What? Welcome back, Upworlder. How goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I... I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course! Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the Promised Land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul-infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. 